and also I guess finding any potential issues with the car the data that's being gathered from the car itself can help with both roadside incidents but also with annual maintenance servicing and that kind of thing yeah so we're doing preemptive road roadside assistance and we're doing remote diagnostics as well so we get diagnostic codes from the car but we're also preempting and seeing and seeing parts failures or, or predicting parts failures so when the car does go to the roadside uh, and it needs assistance, then, then we've, we've already informed the recovery vehicle where the car is and what the potential fault is and if, and if a part can be delivered for the car to be repaired quicker. And those are some of the benefits of connected vehicle data is having this live data. You know, we get data from over 150 sensors in the car in, you know, in, a, in a live environment, but we also get things like engine temperature. We know suspension heights, so we're identifying potholes in roads mm -hmm. to we're getting a whole array of information out of these, out of these cars. So that's fascinating actually to think of. You talked about how um, how all the data can help with road management effectively, but feeding back that suspension from multiple vehicles goes through a pothole on the same part of the road, to think about how that can connect with instantly communicating that back to the local council or whatever it might be to get that data. That's an extraordinary look into the, the future that Weijo is also is, is already bringing. Yeah, and the, and the accuracy of connected vehicle data is three meters. So, it's, but if but if you've got enough vehicles, so I was looking at some data last week, and on on, on three highways that cross over in LA, uh, we we received data from 153,000 vehicles in one 24-hour period. So we got this incredible sort of critical mass of data, which translates to six percent of all vehicles on that road. So we can see, we can then identify exactly where there are issues with the road, and we, we can help the DOT re repair the road quicker, which then reduces the cost of repairing vehicles, reduces the cost to the Department of Transport. So it's, so there's a real sort of a great example of data for good about what data in the car can mean.